Uh, first one's the easy one. It's your first and last name and where you're from, please. Austin Bushman. I'm from Hooker, Oklahoma. Awesome. Uh, obviously, you spend a fair amount of time shooting precision rifle or you wouldn't be here. Um, but as a first timer, how has your experience been? At the AG Cup? Yes. It's been great. Uh, K&M is an awesome place to shoot. I've been here one other time. So him hosting, or Shannon K hosting the match here. It's an awesome range to shoot at, and it's, it's hard to have a bad time here. And the AG Cup, the format, is, is just cool. The way it's a select group of shooters, and, and it's really difficult competition. And I was close. At some points in time, I was below the cut line on the score sheet, so just happy to make it in. When you look at that, does that add pressure? Do you do things you wouldn't otherwise do? Do you change your game if you know you're in danger on that cut line? I don't think I, I don't think I change anything. I, I kind of have a flow of how I strategize for each stage. And so it doesn't change that, but it probably does add some pressure. I mean, whenever you're close to the cut line, you worry about it in between stages, but hopefully you just try to block that out and move on. But yeah. When I was close to the cut line, I was thinking, man, it's going to be a long drive home. <laughs> uh, the other piece of the pressure that you need to this match is stage money. And twenty grand has gone out the door so far. Uh, where do you sit as far as uh, two-day match money? I've got 2000 in stage wins, and that's, that's all I've got so far. Well, that's so. a pretty decent weekend. Oh, so. yeah, it's awesome. I, even if I had, had gotten eliminated... With just 2000 at least I wasn't leaving empty-handed, so that was nice. There you go. That'll make it a drive home a little easier. Yes. We know the Oklahoma boys are successful here. Austin does well here. Clay does well here. Tate has done well here. Um, what is it that you think makes shooting in Oklahoma translate well to sh either shooting here or shooting elsewhere? Uh, part of it is a culture of long-distance shooters that's been built by – that's been built by mentors in Oklahoma who have helped other people get into the sport and shoot well. So part of it is shooters helping shooters in Oklahoma. And that has built up a lot of us to be able to compete well at national events. And the other part is just the environment of the state. Ge geographically, there's quite a few good places to shoot. And, and so, you know, there's a lot of us who have made shooting our hobby. So I think it's just a bunch of people were interested in it in the state, and then there's been some great guys who have helped a lot and get a lot of shooters started. For sure. Uh, take me through your rifle. Rifle is an impact action, a Bartline barrel, foundation stock. I use a Night Force scope. Those are the major components. Um, I do. I use Burger bullets and Alpha brass and Hodgdon powder. Sweet. Uh, tell me the caliber. It's a six dasher. Excellent. The um, the fact that everybody goes to a zero score to start off tomorrow is that an advantage for you? Would you rather keep your score? I mean, obviously nobody wants Francis <coughs> to keep his score. Right. But uh, you know, as we work our way down order to finish top ten today, I think it becomes a little bit of a feather in the cap to know everybody's back to zero. How do you feel about it? Well, it's awesome. I mean, even discussing it with shooters starting before the match even started. On Thursday we were discussing it and it's like all you got to do is get to day three it doesn't matter if you just squeak in if you're if you're 15th out of 15 and so part of that it kind of plays into your thought process as you go as you look at the scoreboard and, and you think it doesn't matter so it takes some of the pressure off all you know is I've just got to get to this point it doesn't matter if I was ninth or tenth because normally on a two-day match you've got to be I mean you feel if you're a top shooter you feel like you failed if you didn't get in the top five at least so, but at this match, here we are, we're two days in, and now our scores reset. It's just a huge relief. You know that the bad stages you just had don't matter anymore and that you're, you're in with a clean slate. There's a big pile of money up for grabs tomorrow on that podium, plus another 10 in stage money. I mean, there's a lot of catch available for 15 shooters. You're one of them. Does that play into it? Does that add pressure? Does that change your game at all? I don't think so. I... I don't have I try not to have expectations like huge expectations my goal is to win but this is a hobby I enjoy doing it I really love doing it so in the end I'm getting to participate in my hobby and it just doesn't matter if I if I leave empty-handed tomorrow that's a, well you're not because you got two grand already. right yeah um, the weather has been a little bit dramatic for December in Tennessee it's windy it's cold 
Uh, it's going to potentially be cold again tomorrow, potentially windy. Um, how does that play in? I haven't checked. I'll, I'll check the weather later tonight. I haven't really checked everything that's supposed to happen tomorrow. The cold weather, sh it's been really cold back home. Cold weather shouldn't play a huge factor with a lot of guys. We'll just bundle up. The wind looked like it was going to be really calm tomorrow, mm -hmm. which will play a factor. You do see the score shift in certain directions. Generally, Oklahoma guys are known for shooting really good with high winds. So, And there's a lot of guys that shoot out East Coast matches where there's low winds. And we'll see if that plays a factor. Everybody here that's made it to the top 15 knows exactly what to do in every situation. So it shouldn't be a factor, but it might be. <laughs> well said. You think you can win it? Yes, I think I can win it. Yes. Boy, you're off the hook. That's what I needed. All right. You've made it this far in the video, and for that, we thank you. If you're enjoying the content, please consider subscribing. It helps the channel, and we'll keep the uploads coming.